Today I'm gonna to do something that I really never thought I would do, and that is record myself playing video games. What? Now everybody's been talking about this game called Animal Crossing. Yes, Animal Crossing. I've never played it, my brother's obsessed with it. I play a lot of games, but I've never played Animal Crossing. Am I the only loser out there that hasn't played this game? And I still have not played this game. I'm gonna be playing it for the very first time today. Catch up on what everybody seems to be talking about. From what I understand, I don't really understand what you do with this game. I think I do, or I don't know. You build your own houses and islands and then you pimp them out and then you can visit other people's islands. Yeah, that's the extent that I know. But what I do know is that it sounds a lot like something that I could definitely use to memorize something. And that's what we're gonna to do today in this video. We are going to use Animal Crossing, I guess the houses or the islands that I built, to memorize some stuff. What are we gonna memorize? I actually don't know yet. Uh, probably something fairly easy and fun. But um, I guess the first thing we gotta do is open the game up and get started. Uh, I literally have never played this game. I'm opening it for the very first time here. I closed Yoshi, I was playing that before. What should I name myself? Um, as I always do, Nels. Birthday, do you guys know this? Two Four. Yes, it is. Oh, I gotta make my whole character here. Okay, maybe we can fast forward through this part. Can still have beers. Okay. All right. So they gave me a tent. I guess. Guess we got some uh, simple living to start with. Uh, I gotta find a place to put it up here. Yes. So the plan is, is to memorize. All right, cool. Can I go on my tent? Uh, I guess not. One eternity later. So I figured in this very bare area, we could memorize our first list. Okay, let's start with the world's top 10 largest oceans and sh largest oceans and seas okay cool so memory palaces you can make anywhere usually i make videos on how to take real life places that you know in your head and use them as memory palaces but you could easily use any video game i'm going to use this beautiful cute game let's start simple let's start with 10 locations one for each of these oceans. You know what, let's make this tent the first one, this box here the second, um, this rock out here the third, four could be this shell, five could be, could be just the beach, six could be these flowers here, seven could be that beetle, eight could be this tree with the apples, uh, I don't know, nine could be this stick, and then 10 could be this open slot here. Nothing too very memorable. I probably wouldn't do this normally, but since we're just getting started, that's what we'll do. All right, so we start with Pacific Ocean. So on this tent, I would picture a large pacifier just sucking on the top of that tent. Okay, then we have here in this post box, the Atlantic Ocean. So I would maybe imagine um, a trident coming out of the top of it because I think of like Atlantis, Atlantic, voila. All right, then we go over here to this rock here. The third one is Indian Ocean. So I'm just gonna imagine uh, a big bowl of Indian curry poured all over this rock. Four is this shell here. We have the Arctic Ocean. So imagine touching this thing and it's ice cold to the touch, Arctic Ocean. Okay, then we go down here. I said this little beach area. 
was gonna be the next, which is the coral sea. So just imagine that there's some coral that gets washed up here, easy. Okay, then we come up here, the flowers, six is the Arabian Sea. I'm just gonna imagine like an Arabian horse just kind of galloping round and round on top of these flowers, trampling them. All right, seven is this tree here with the apples. We're gonna do the South China Sea. So I might maybe think of that three apples there, uh, but beneath it, south, uh, is gonna be some chopsticks. And maybe I use the chopsticks to get the apples, right? Okay, three more, eight. Shoot, I forgot what I was gonna use. Was it, whatever, I'll make it up now. Eight will be this tree here, uh, which is the Caribbean Sea. So I'm gonna imagine some pirates kind of on the Caribbean Sea going around this tree. Nine will be the stick, which is the Mediterranean. So maybe I'll imagine picking up the stick to meditate. It makes me so peaceful. And then finally, this open clearing here will be the Bering Sea. That's the 10th largest body of water. Bering, I'm just gonna think of a big bear sitting there. Cool, so I'm not gonna look. Let's go back to our tent and see if we can remember those 10 items. We have the pacifier, Pacific. We had the Trident Atlantic. We had Indian. We had Arctic. We had the Coral Sea. We had the Arabian Sea. We had the South China Sea. We had the Caribbean Sea. We had the Mediterranean Sea and we had the Bering Sea. Awesome. So I had to name my island all right, so we're having some festivities here, celebrating that I've named my island Nelslandia, the best name ever. Um, this campsite's pretty awesome, so why don't we use that as our next place to memorize something? And in terms of a list, maybe we could do something like the heaviest animals? Sure. Top 10 heaviest animals. All right, so first we need 10 locations. Um, let's start here. Actually, let's start at the fire. Location number one. Uh, then two can be this little lion dude with a tambourine. Three could be this stump with a saw on it. Four could be this sheep with headphones on. Five could be these boxes. Six could be a little dude with a flag. Seven could be his dad with the alcoholic bed. Eight could be this boom box. Nine could be this tent. And then finally, 10 could be the megaphone over here. It's pretty solid. Okay, first one is a blue whale. So imagine on the fire there is a massive blue whale just being roasted alive. Okay, starting dark here. All right, next dude here, my man. It's a whale shark, so I'm gonna imagine a whale and a shark on his tambourine just being smashed together, a whale and a shark. All right, here on the stump, we have an African elephant. So an elephant's easy to picture. They've got stump kind of legs, uh, but he's African, okay? So I just imagine him, you know, coming from the island of Africa. Island? The continental island. Hmm. Okay, next we have the Indian elephant. Okay, another elephant is here, smushing this chick here. And uh, again, we got that curry theme going on. Maybe this Indian elephant is eating some curry while he stomps on her. Okay, next we have the white rhinoceros. So I'm just gonna imagine a white rhinoceros ramming into this thing with its horn and it's white, like painted white. All right, my man here with the little flag, it's a hippopotamus. So maybe this little flag he waves, there's a little hippopotamus attached to it. Uh, this guy with a drink is a giraffe. So imagine the little straw he has in there is actually a giraffe neck poking out of there. All right, this guy here, we have, then we have, yeah, I can't keep my, my memory palace straight. We had one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. 
Yeah, okay. Let me skip here. Eight is the boom box. It's crocodile. So let's imagine this crocodile is just kind of like chomping on this boom box. Okay. Then nine can be this tent over here, which is the Asian guar. Gar? I don't know what that is. Yeah. But it makes me think of like guacamole. And it's Asian, so maybe it's got like a... Uh, kind of a soy taste to it. And it's the color of guacamole, so maybe it's covered in spicy Asian guacamole, guar, Asian guar, whatever guar is. Yeah. And then finally, the speakerphone here, we have a bison. Okay, so I'm gonna imagine maybe, we'll take this literally on the megaphone, somebody saying bye son, or saying bye to their son. All right, let's see if we can remember that. We had the blue whale, whale shark, African elephant, Indian elephant, white rhino, uh, what do we have here? The hippopotamus, giraffe, crocodile, and the tent, the Asian guar, yeah. and then finally the bison. Cool. Two hours later. All right, so it seems like I need a house. And I think I have to, the guy started, the guy from the island started asking me for money. So I think I have to find a way to make money, which is probably like picking up stuff and selling it. I don't know, I need a house. Oh, I go inside. Yeah, okay. Oh snap, this tent is cool. This tent could be a memory palace. So let's do another memory palace, yeah? Maybe we could do... What about the world's smallest countries? Mm. That's kind of cool. Oh yeah, all right, cool. Top 10. All right, so we need 10 locations. This place is great. Maybe where I'm standing right now could be the first. That's where you walk in. That's the first location. Then maybe here, this little chest here could be the second. Third could be a little dude here. Four could be the guy here with the book. Five could be the clock in the back there. Six could be this little teapot. Seven could be my main man here. Eight could be this, um, maybe the glue bottles. Nine could be this cutting board area, center of the desk. And then 10 could be this um, hose here or corner, whatever. Okay, notice that when I make a memory palace, I usually go in some kind of clockwise or anti-clockwise fashion, just so it's easy to know. All right, first one is Vatican City. All right, so where I'm standing is the Vatican City. What do I think with Vatican? I think of like a bat in a can. It's super literal, sounds like that, so I'm gonna imagine a bat, like a flying bat animal, inside of a can, bat can. All right, then over here, uh, next one is Monaco. So I think of the Monaco Grand Prix. So I'm gonna imagine um, Formula One cars zooming around the top of this thing. And then this little guy here, uh, next one is Gibraltar. Sounds kind of like a Jeep and an altar. Jeep altar, Gibraltar. So I'm gonna think of like a Jeep getting married to another Jeep at the altar. Maybe he's the actual uh, officiating person for this wedding. So he's marrying a Jeep at the altar. All right, next guy reading the book is Macau. Uh, I'm just gonna think he's reading about a book about his cow, my cow, Macau. It's Macau, Macau. All right, then the clock in the background is number five. It's uh, Nauru, I think that's somewhere in the Pacific. Nauru, Nauru. Um, so maybe I think I look at the clock and I say, it's now. Aura, Naora, something with now and hour. It's Naur. Nora, whatever, you get the idea, it's close. All right, then the teapot here is gonna to be Tuvalu. Um, so I'm gonna think of maybe two of those cups falling, falling, Tuval, 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 Tuvalu. Uh, then this guy, we have Bermuda, that's easy. He kinda of looks like he's wearing a Bermuda shirt. Maybe I can look at the little triangle around his chest and v-neck there. That's the Bermuda triangle. All right, here at the desk we have the glue bottles and that is San Marino, which reminds me of Dan Marino. 
Dan Marino should die of gonorrhea and rot in hell. Would you like a cookie, son? So maybe he's using those glue sticks, picks them up and throws them like a football. On this board we have a Lichtenstein, which makes me think of like licking a stein. Like a, a German drink, just licking it. That's on top of there. And then finally, the last one here, we have Antigua. I'm just gonna picture an ant kind of crawling around this thing. So what do we have in the first one? We have the bat and the can, it's the Vatican City. On here, we have the Formula One, that was Monaco. Then this little dude here, he was marrying a Jeep at the altar, Gibraltar. Then here we have this guy reading about his cow, Macau. Then we had the clock, Nauru. Then we had the two cups, Tuvalu, Bermuda Triangle, Bermuda for this guy. Then we had San Marino throwing the glue. On the cutting board, we had Liechtenstein. And then finally, we had Antigua. Awesome. So, memory palaces don't have to actually be places. You can use any game that you play or some world or place or area that you know very well, real or not. Um, you can see that it's just as effective and it's actually a lot of fun. Like, share, subscribe, please. We are so close to 100,000 subscribers. It is nuts. I just really can't believe it. So uh, if you're not subscribed yet, please consider doing so. And if you are subscribed, hit that little bell next to my name so that you get notifications when I post a new video, which is as frequently as I can. I try. All right, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. I am out. Good night, good night, good night.